Woo. This melody right here is so chill. I think I'm gonna turn this one into like a chill lo-fi beat or something. What's good people, it's Ocean here. Welcome back to the channel, welcome to the video. Hope you're having a great day wherever you're watching from in the world. I forgot to announce in the last video that I dropped like a mini free sample pack. And if you wanna go ahead and download it, I'm gonna leave a link in the description below so you can go download it, flip the samples, chop them up, do whatever you want with it and just enjoy. In this video, we're gonna be making a beat cause that's what we do right here. I have no idea what kind of beat I'm gonna make today. I'm just gonna go with the flow and see what happens. So yeah, let's get into it. Ocean gang go drown. So sometimes when I don't have any idea for a beat, before coming to the computer and trying to make a beat, I like to go to the piano, just mess around on the keys, try and find a cool melody, maybe a nice chord progression. That's what I've done for this one. I found some nice chords that sounded good together. And I brought them into Logic Pro X. I just penciled it in because it's faster for me. And this is what we're going to be building from today. We need to go ahead and humanize this. I think I might even add the hearing like let me go ahead and record that in And I am just gonna control everything, go to functions, MIDI transform, and humanize this, and just select and operate. I'm also gonna control everything and go to region, quantize it to 1 16th note, and we're gonna Q flam it 1 over 96. But I don't want all the notes to hit in the same same spot, so I'm just going to quantize some notes as well. I'm also going to add in some effects. Let me just EQ out some of the low end. I'm also going to add in some RC20. I'm hearing this one, it sounds Sounds like it's going to be super chill. Woo! This chord progression right here is sounding nice. Let's add some reverb on this as well. add in a counter melody to go with this as well. Uh, let's open up Phil and see what I can find. <whistles> Woo! Let me go ahead and record that down. Let me go ahead and add some RC20 on top of this as well. I'm gonna give it exactly the same, exactly the same vibe as the first one, the vinyl. And I'm gonna EQ it so the low, the higher is high, and the lows are cut. I'm going to leave the melodies like that for now, but I want to add in some atmospheric sounds, something to go in the background. 
So I'm gonna go into splice. I think I've got maybe some bird sounds or something. This sounds like it could be good. Just gonna time stretch it by dragging that down by holding option and moving to the side. Alright, that sounds good. Time to add in the drums. I want to change up the velocities, I don't want it to be exactly the same throughout. So I'm just gonna select, hold shift, so I can continue to select some of the other MIDI notes as well. And I'm gonna turn down the velocity. I'm gonna delete that section, control all of that, compress, command R to duplicate that. Then I'm gonna select the MIDI box and hold command, press R, and that's replicated over command J to join that up. And just to give it a human feel, I don't want it to be on grid, so I'm gonna command R, move that over just a little bit. I'm just going to layer it with this shaker here. Let's turn that down. I'm just going to quantize it and I'm going to EQ it as well. I want to take out some of that high end and raise around the 200 so it punches a bit more and we'll just drop some of that bass. I like that one. I think I'm gonna duplicate that and find another snare because I want to layer it. Maybe this one can do. Just gonna EQ out some of the low. I think this beat is a bit too slow, so I'm just going to raise it to about, let's try AE BPM. I think that's a lot better. I, I think I'm going to quantize those but I don't want them in the position that I played it in. I played it in in the wrong part, so let me drag that over there. Something like that. I want to add one more thing to the melody. I want some like some violins or something, some strings, just to make it a bit more, I don't know, emotional. Add some, let's add some, what you call it, some reverb.
it's all together, this is what we got. And I think I'm just going to rearrange it to a quick beat. So I'm going to select everything, press Command R to replicate it over. So for the first part, in fact, let me just duplicate that. I'm duplicating the chords, I'm going to drag it down, solo that, and I'm going to get rid of all the top notes here. So we just have the chords. So for the first part, I'm just going to have the main part. And then the first part of the chorus, I'm taking out the bass and the flute. I'm just going through and deleting some random parts just to give it some variation. In fact, let me drag that back over. And then for the third part of the verse. Let's see how that goes in. Nice and chill. And then I'll probably do the same thing again. And then it would just repeat from the beginning, I guess. That's the beat right there finished. And yeah, I'm gonna leave the beat just like that. I'm not gonna add anything else to it. I ended up making another really, really chill lo-fi beat. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, smash that thumbs up button. Let me know in the comments below what you think. And also remember, I got that free sample mini pack. The link is in the description for that, so you can just go ahead and download that. Make sure you subscribe if you haven't done so already. Join the family. And yeah, that's about it for this video. I'll see you guys in the future.